Not too much, but. Ed says he can hear it a little bit. All right, we'll go with that for now so it's not too loud for anybody. We'll start with our power ups. Here we go. Good, and our rock. And I apologize, I'm not sure why I look purple and retro or if I look that way to anybody else. Good, and twist. And stop. Two more. Nice job. Good. We're going to do a couple of stretches here for the arms. So you're going to reach across your body and hold. And switch. Uh, if you're there, can you see if you put a filter on me or what the problem is with the screen? Thank you. Alrighty, good. Go ahead and bring your right arm up and hold. And switch. Good. Go ahead and bring your arms up above and down and again and down one more time. Good. Go ahead and stand up and we'll do our standing power moves. Here we go. Power up. In rage. And twist. And stop. Go ahead and have a seat. We'll do a couple of stretches for the legs here. Good, and 
sledge. Good. Last one, right leg out in front, bend forward to you feel a stretch. And switch. Good. Go ahead and grab a sip of water and then grab your arm weights. I'm going to turn off my camera and turn it back on and see if that fixes the problem. It did. Okay. That's great. Um, grab your arm weights. We'll be in the chair. Okay. We're going to start with some arm pulses out. Good, and forward. And side. Good, go ahead and relax. Left for our twist, and then open it up towards the sky. We're gonna do 10 on each side. One more, and switch sides. Eight. Nine and ten. Nice job. We're going to bring our arms out in front. You're going to reach down towards the floor. Bring the arms up. Out and hold. Down. Up. Hold. Forward. Down. Out. Two more. Reach forward. Down. Up. Out. And hold. Now, last one, reach forward, down, up, and out. Good. Set your weights down. We're going to start with 10 hand flex. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Good. We're going to now do our power up and flex. So you're going to come down and power up. Come down, power up and flex. Two. Five, six, five. Really spread those fingers out. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we're going to do ten power ups nice and fast without the hand flick. Go ahead and get your heart rate up. Here we go. Down and up. Five, six, seven, and ten. Good. We're going to do our rock and reach. So you're going to rock and reach and flex. So it's going to be here. Really stretch out that finger. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten rocks, nice and fast now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to the power up with the hand flick. Come down and flip. Two, three, four, six, seven. Spread out those hands. Eight. Keep it up. You're doing great. Nine. And here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hand flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ten rocks nice and fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead and spread out those hands for our twist. Keep your fingers apart. One, open. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now let's do our step with the hand flick. Step and flick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Steps nice and fast. Okay. Go ahead and grab your weights again. down. About 10 more seconds to go.
Now you're going to alternate straight ahead with a punch. So here. And stop. Back to straight up in the air. And stop. The punches. Five more seconds. Good, and stop. Up next, we're going to do some upper. And stop. We're going to do cross punches as our second one. And stop. Back to the uppercut. And stop. Back to the cross punch. Five more seconds. And stop. Go ahead and grab a sip of water, and then we'll still be using the arm weights. Give everyone about 30 more seconds here. Alrighty, our next exercise is going to be a sit to stand or a forward weight shift with your weights. So you're going to do the sit to stand, and then you're going to do two cross punches and then sit back down. If you stay in the chair, you'll do the forward weight shift and then come back and do the two punches. We're going to do 20 of them. Here we go. And up, punch, punch, down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eighteen, 
19, 20. Nice job. Go ahead and take a break. You can drop your arm weights. And then we're going to do a march with the legs, 30 marches up and down. Good. That's 30. We're going to grab the weights. And then this time we have 10 sit to stands and 20 marches. You can also switch to just that forward weight shift and the two punches. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go ahead and drop your weights. Twenty marches. Good. We have five sit to stand with ten marches left. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Put your weights down. Ten marches. Nice job. Go ahead and get your mat up and come down on the floor with me. Feel free to grab a sip of water too. You will need your weights on the floor as well. All right, we're going to start on our hands and knees. So I'll demonstrate straight that first and then I'll show the chair version too. We're going to start with 10 power ups nice and slow on the hands and knees. Just come down and power up. If you're in the chair, you're just going to do 10 seated power ups at a nice slow pace. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If you're on the floor, you're going to lie down onto your stomach with your weights and your hands, and you're going to do your rock using the weights, so rock and reach. If you're in the chair, grab your weights. You're going to do those seated rock with the weights. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Go ahead and set down your weights. If you're on the floor, we're going back to the hands and knees for the power up. If you're in the chair, we're back to the seated power up. One more. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and 10. If you're on the floor, we're back to the rock with the weights lying on your stomach. If you're in the chair, grab your weights for the seated rock. Here we go. One, two, three. Keep it up, everybody. You're doing great. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice job. If you're in the chair and able to stand, I'll have you stand up. And if you're on the floor, we'll be back on our hands and knees. You can use your chair for support if needed, but you're going to bring one knee out in front. So it's going to be a half kneel position. So this is what you look like if you're on the floor or if you're able to balance without that chair, that's great. If you're able to stand, I want you to bring your right foot out in front of your left. The closer you have your feet together, the more of a balance challenge it'll be. So if you need to keep a wide base like I have here, that's okay too. You're going to take your weights and you're going to do 10 punches. So from here, if you're hanging out of the chair, it'll just be one arm. If you're not, it'll be both arms. And then in the standing position, it'll still be across your body with the punches. All right, I'll give everybody a second to get situated. Here we go, 10 punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Go ahead and switch which leg you have in front. And 10 more punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring your right leg back out in front. And this time we're gonna do jabs. So straight ahead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch feet. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch to the right foot. You're only gonna need one weight this time. So if you're not using your arms for support, you're gonna bring that weight out in front of you with both hands on it. And you're gonna lift and kind of lunge forward and then come back down. If you're using your arm for support, it'll be one arm coming up, lunging forward and back down. I'm gonna show the standing version for this one, but on the floor, you know what to do as well. So right foot ahead, and I'm gonna bring my weight up and lunge forward. Do 10 of those with the right foot in front. Two, three, four, Five, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, go ahead and switch which foot you have in front. And we'll do ten more. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. If you're on the floor, we're going back onto your stomach. If you're standing, you'll head back to your chair. You won't need your weights for our next one. 
We're going to do our step, laying on your stomach. So you're going to lift one arm and that leg, bring it out and wrap together. If you're in the chair, we'll do our seated step. We're going to do 10 of those. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Nice job. If you're on the floor, we're going to do another round of the step, but this time instead of reaching out to the side, you're going to reach forward. So you're going to reach forward with your arm and back. And if you're in the chair, you're going to reach forward with your leg and back. So you're going to reach your arms and your leg forward, like so, and then bring it back together. Here we go, 10 times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to ten more of the uh, steps out to the side in the chair or on your stomach. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then ten more forward. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. If you're on the floor, we're gonna roll over onto your back. If you're in the chair, stay in your chair. You'll grab your weights this time as well. On your back, you're gonna push the weights forward and back down like a bench press position. In the chair, you'll do the same thing, forward and back. We're gonna do 20 of those, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go ahead and put your weights down. If you're in the chair, you're doing a forward weight shift, trying to lift your butt out of the chair. If you're on your back, you're gonna do a bridge. Come up as high as you can, keeping that core tight. We're gonna do 20 bridges or 20 weight shifts. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Way to go, everybody. Ten more. Nice job. Good job, everybody. Grab those weights. We have 20 more of the bench press position. Two, three, Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and put your weights down. We're back to the bridge or the forward weight shift. And up.
Ten more. Halfway there. You're going to lift your right leg up, out straight, and then you're going to slowly lower it. And we're going to do 10 on the right leg. If you're in the chair, you're going to just alternate kicks, tightening up your thigh until we hit 10 of those lowers. Here we go with the right leg. Lift it up. Keep your core tight, your back flat, and lower that leg. And back up, core is tight, and lower. Two, up. Up. There's five, halfway. Two more, one, and two, nice job. All right, we're gonna switch to the left leg. If you're in the chair, I want you to practice holding this time. So you're gonna do five total with 10 second holds. So you're gonna lift a leg, hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and then switch and do five or 10 seconds. If you're on the floor, we're gonna just slowly lower. So leg comes up. And again. If you're in the chair, try to work on keeping that quad tight, that thigh muscle. Halfway. Make sure you're keeping your stomach tight on the floor and you're not arching your back. Two more. Last one. Good. If you're on the floor or if you're in the chair, you're going to bring your right leg up towards your chest and hold till you feel a good stretch. And switch legs. Good, one more time on the right leg. And one more time on the left. Good. If you're on the floor, you're going to cross your right leg over your left and push that knee down. If you're in the chair, you'll do that same thing. So cross your right leg over and then push down. If you're hip mobility, that's okay. You can just go back to the stretch where you're pulling up towards your chest. Good, and switch. Wow. 
One more time on the right. And one more time on the left. Good. If you're on the floor, go ahead and clear your mat. Everybody will be in standing here in just a moment. You're done with your weights as well, so if you want to clear those out and grab a drink of water, you can. And we'll be in the standing position here. Once you've made it to the standing position, we're going to do some calf raises. So if you need to hang on to your chair for support, you can. We're going to go up and down 10 times. More. Good, and then we're going to do 10 squats. So we're just going to come down and power up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 more calf raises. And 10 more squats. Make sure you power up. Good. Using the back of your chair for support, you're going to bring your right leg in front. And then you're going to lunge forward. The left leg will stay straight with the heel down. You should feel a stretch in your calf. And go ahead and switch feet. And right. Good and left. This time with that left foot, if you can try to turn it in just a little bit, you should feel a little bit of a different stretch in your calf. And then same with the right one. Go ahead and turn those toes in just a little bit and you should feel a little bit of a different stretch. Should feel it more on the outside of the calf. Nice job, everybody. We'll head back to your chair.
We're gonna just reach down towards the floor and hold. Good, slowly come back up. You're gonna rock and reach and hold till you feel a stretch down your side. Good, and switch sides and hold. Good, back down. You're going to reach back down towards the floor again and hold with a rounded back. Slowly come back up and reach across and hold. Good and switch. Good, and come back down. You're going to gently pull your head to the right until you feel a stretch on the left side of your neck. Try to keep your left shoulder down, and you should be pulling to where you feel slight discomfort, but it shouldn't be painful. Go ahead and switch sides. Again, you should feel a slight discomfort and your head should be side bent to the side, not rotated or extended. Bring that right shoulder down. Good, and relax. One more time to the left. All the stretches should be like you're producing a productive stretch, not like you're pulling too hard and having excruciating pain. Good, and one more time. Good, and relax. You're gonna do shoulder rolls backwards. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten forward. Nice job. Go ahead and bring your arms down. You're going to take a big deep breath in as you open the arms up. And out. And again, in, and out, again, in, and out. On this next one, when you come out, I want you to go power up position and hold. So we're going to go up all the way, take a deep breath in, and out, hold the power up. Good. Same thing again. Big deep breath in, all the way up, out to the power up, and hold. Good. One last time. In, out, and power up. Good. We're going to do 10 shoulder blade squeezes, so really squeeze those shoulder blades together. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Got it, relax. We're gonna do a stretch to the side, so you're gonna reach down, and the left arm will come up and hold. You can look up towards that arm. Back to the center, and switch. Good, one more time to the right. The left. Good, and relax. Nice job, everyone. Give me a thumbs up if you did the homework from last week. The shoulder blade squeezes, thumbs up if you did them. Good, I'm getting a couple thumbs up, that's great. All right, so this week's homework, I want you to try to do some rotations. So you're gonna open up your arms and then you're gonna rotate within your pain-free range and then do it to the other side. I have a goal of doing 10 to each side each day until I see you next Thursday. Alrighty, everybody have a great week and a great weekend. We'll see you next Thursday. Yep, you guys have a great weekend too. Great job, thanks. Enjoy Thank the Thank you. Thanks Thank so much. You. Have a good day. Thank you. Take care.